Good afternoon, I'm Officer Bino Cadenas, that's B-I-N-O, last name C-A-D-E-N-A-S, Senior Police Officer, Public Information Office. Uh, this incident is going to be case number 20-198-0717, located at the 200 block of Bonnie Bray in North Central Austin. At approximately 1.52 p.m., APD received a shoot-slash-gunshot call. The um, stab shooting hot shot call came in advising that there was multiple sounds of gunshots. The first officer arrived on scene at 1.55 p.m., just three minutes after the call came in. The officer was able to locate a silver vehicle that had collided with a residential property. The um, officer went up to the vehicle, located a black male driver who was unresponsive, who had also sustained trauma to his body. The officer then immediately removed the driver from the vehicle and pro began performing CPR measures. Once the scene was deemed safe, EMS was able to enter and took over the CPR compressions. While the officers were on scene there, a witness came running to the officers and advised them that there was a second victim who had also sustained gunshot wounds, that this victim was further down the street. That officer was able to coordinate with additional officers to provide medical aid to the other victim who also had trauma to his body. That second victim was able to be transported to the hospital. He's currently in stable condition, but in surgery. The first victim had, was pronounced deceased at approximately 2.13 p.m. So what we know so far is that there was an incident that took place inside the vehicle. A very isolated incident between two subjects and there was an exchange of gunfire. One of the uh, subjects was able to exit the vehicle, go into a household and ask for help. The other subject was driving and crashed into a home. Um, and then that is how we showed up on scene. This is the 25th homicide for 2020. Um, and additionally, I would just like to commend the officers who arrived on scene, saw that a male had trauma to his body, immediately reacted, pulling him out, tried to save the young man's life, uh, but was pronounced deceased, succumbed by his injuries. Um, I'll open it up for any questions. Just know that this is still a very active, ongoing scene. We have multiple homicide detectives talking to witnesses, trying to gather more information. Uh, we also have officers at the hospital waiting to speak to the second subject to try to find out exactly what happened. So was it a road rage incident between two vehicles or how do you find So what we know is that, what we believe is that the two subjects were inside the vehicle together and then there was a exchange of gunfire between them inside the one vehicle. So driver and passenger, um, disturbance, exchange of gunfire. Did either of them live in this neighborhood? Uh, we don't know. Uh, that's still being investigated. We believe that they have friends, perhaps family members that do live in the, in the neighborhood because the second subject was able to run to a residence and ask for help there. Uh, just, uh, it's too soon. Any, any idea of motive? Have you found any? No, again, at this point, everything's preliminary. Uh, we still are gonna have to talk to uh, the second subject, uh, multiple witnesses, and actually perhaps family members to find out what, what exactly was going on that would have led to this uh, violence. 